So if we go here and then we go to transform and do scale, we can scale it down like that. And then we can just uh, zoom in, take the hand tool, and then we just zoom in over. Oops. You can take this and put it over his eye and keep scaling down right about there. Scale it down a little bit more. So we're going to do another one. So we're going to do another uh, mask and we can just take our circle tool and then create another mask directly inside of it. And then we can hit subtract. And then what we do, we can zoom in here more. Uh, let's take the hand tool. And then we can move this to where it's towards the center of his pupil, you'd say. Um, select the mask. Move it towards the center there. And then with the mask, um, with mask 2 selected, um, I would drop down the opacity a little bit, feather it, um, feather the uh, make the mask expansion go um, more in some so raise it up a little then up the mask uh, feather so it creates a less harsh edge and if we zoom out here um, turn this off real quick if we zoom out you see there's a real harsh edge there so we want to keep feathering it and then on the first mask we need to feather that too so it looks like it's sort of blending in with the eye so you feather that a lot and then as you can see it's sort of feathered a little better we want to take the opacity of the um, of the uh, red solid down so we want to go there and keep bringing this down and then as you can see it's sort of a little better now and so it's a little better and then all we have to do for this to, because as you can see, if we play through it, it doesn't stay with the um, it doesn't stay with the video footage. So if you watch here, it'll show that the eye moves, but this part doesn't go with it. So if we go back here, what we have to do is we need to make it so that the um, the tracking data that we had on our null object goes to the eye so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pick lip and move it to the left eye null object or we can just go to the drop down box parent it to the left eye like that and so if we scrub through it now we can see that it follows the eye based on the tracking data gained by the null object and so if we turn this back to full now we can do this eye over here and so we can duplicate this footage and then we can drag it over here to this eye and because it's still um, linked to that null object over here it'll have the same tracking data which means it'll stay so you don't have to um, you don't have to uh, track the data again because it's all relative to the same uh, tracking data which means if one place moves the other place has to move the same so that makes it a lot easier to do and then that's pretty much how you do it and you can see here the little um, blue tint we have on his hair we have the blue spill it sort of looks like that dude off of um, a Ghost Rider sort of so create sort of that effect um, bring the opacity down on these some more So we have sort of that effect. Um, one thing you can do is what you do uh, to um, make it a little easier is you can take all these layers and then just do layer, pre-compose, move all attributes into a new composition. And then what you can do is you can make his hair sort of glow. And you can do that by going to um, layer, new, um, solid. Uh, we'll make this sort of a light bluish color. Um, and then we can take the circle tool again 
and then, or actually just take the pen tool with this layer selected and just draw a mask around uh, his hair. And so, once we create our mask around his hair, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to go around sort of the edges. And then, finish this up all right so now if we turn this back on and you can see that it's sort of ugly like this and so if we change back to our selection tool we can maybe make this a little easier a little better um, you can see that there and then if we go into our mask uh, options you can hit mm and then it'll bring up your mask properties and then what you can do is you can lower the mask opacity a little bit and then you can um, feather the mask and then what you can do is you change the layer to classic color dodge and so what happens is it basically adds a little more tint to the uh, footage so you see it around his hair but you see this harsh line we have there all you have to do is feather the mask some more so just feather a little more like that and you can see it's sort of glowing around him and you can do sort of the same thing around his shoulders too so if you were to take the mask um, so if you took a mask and just uh, did one around his body so if we do layer new solid same color um, uh, let's delete this one make it comp size so layer, new, solid, uh, make comp size, hit OK. And then we shut it off here, and then we just made it around. Uh, and then we just made the mask around the bottom part of him, right there. And then if we turn it back on, you can see that there. And then what we want to do is um, we want to take another mask here, shut it off, and then what we want to do is we want to draw a sort of thing around his body like we did his head. Only this time we're going to cut it off at the ear so it goes like this. And so it makes it a little bit different. See, you can do it all at once in the beginning. I just find it a little easier for me to do it this way. Um, and then we can close it off down here. And then close it back together. And so if we turn it back on and then we take these and make the opacity go down like that. So we can delete this mask here. So that was just a reference mask. We can lower the opacity, change this to classic color dodge. And so if you see here, now it creates sort of a blue tint around them. So if we go V, um, do our selection tool, expand the mask out a little bit more. You see here, it sort of creates a little blue effect around them. Creates a little more glow on them. What we can do here is we can just lower this under them so it makes it, uh, so it doesn't affect his face as much, but you see you want it on the shirt too. So what we can do is we can just, um, take the pen tool and then we can uh, add a point and what that does is it allows us to create a um, curve around his face like that so we can just move this point here go like that same thing for this one just move it like that move this point over here and we have it sort of around his face and so if we uh, do that well enough you can see here if we turn this off that it has this harsh line again so we just feather this one and then you sort of have that blue glow around him where his body is all lit up and so is his head and so that creates the effect um, have the red eyes and everything and so there's your effect for um, uh, sort of the Ghost Rider dude effect and you can do the same thing for the Hulk too if you just uh, change the colors of these um, uh, if you change these colors you can like say if we go into our pre-comp of 
this file here and we click on it we can change this to green and like do sort of a whole thing and then we can change them to green like down here and so now he's green he could be the Hulk and then you can create a mask around to make his arms hecka big um, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with this so um, makes it real cool here so see here he's green uh, with a blue outline but I don't think the Hulk would really be blue but yeah it's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this uh, so have fun with it um, uh, and that's the tutorial and I will be back for more and this is Eddie out